For a change. This is certainly not a green screen. This is in Fitzroy Gardens in Melbourne CBD. And right here on my right is Captain Cook's cottage. We'll take a few more shots of this. Well, this is part three of common law and common sense versus fictional system. I'll show you some photographs from the Supreme Court and the statue of justice <laughs> or injustice on top of the Supreme Court and then we'll carry on from there. Today is the 12th of May in autumn. Beautiful autumn day. It's the sun is going to go down in the next couple of hours but we're here as I said in Cook's Cottage in Fitzroy Gardens. I did show you, I'm showing you a photograph now of um, the statue that's got um, <laughs> It's just justice, which should be the sword should be pointing up. But you can see over the Supreme Court in Melbourne, it's pointing down, and that means no mercy, and most certainly not any justice. Supreme Court, Melbourne, very busy place. Up the top, we have the statue or emblem. You will see. The sword is pointing down and the scales has collapsed. So really, this was done a long time ago, this building. There was no intention to ever have any justice. So when it says the sword is pointing down, what they're actually saying is no mercy. That's encouraging, isn't it? So we have this wonderful building here that deals in justice. It has juries. It's still a fictional system. There's no constitution to control it anymore. When the constitution was in force and Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors were in, in line, these people had to tow the proverbial line. Now, as a private corporation, well, it's, it's good luck. Now, this is a photo of a very old building with a history both in television, movies, and in reality. This is the old Bailey Courthouse in London. Now, if we scroll up the top here, we will see the Statue of Justice. Sword is pointing up, and the scale is in the left hand. This close-up clearly shows the sword pointing up and the scales of justice in the left hand. I said some time before I would explain the Constitution and the Queen. The Constitution and the Queen together made the, 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 what we call now the fictional system realistic because it kept them under control. There are sections in the Constitution which says they can't do certain things. And when the Queen was removed unlawfully, hence we have royal commissions with no Queen, unlawful, unjust and most certainly criminal, the Constitution was also removed. So now we have a private company pretending to be a court. It's again a money pit. And we took some photographs up there. I'll show you that the four courts, I reckon it's the biggest money pit in Melbourne. A lot of money is produced there in a day and very little justice. If you have a jury, well then at least it could be seen on reasonable grounds there should be, there should be some justice there. But the system itself is pretty rotten. We have QCs, which are calling themselves Queen's Councillors. Again, no Queen. Now, what's the difference between that and a common law court? We don't need a constitution. We don't need a Queen. It goes back before constitutions, and any man wrote up rules and regulations to govern other men and women. Common law is just men and women in the community getting together and making a stand. Now, one common law court in Melbourne is certainly not enough and if there's anybody out there that would like to help physically mentally and financially get off your butts and do that now when they removed the Constitution what did we lose now a lot of people say to me who really cares if the Constitution has been removed if the Queen has been removed, yes, every time we watch the fake news or watch Fox News or Sky News or Alan Jones on, we find that the Constitution is mentioned every stage because it's very, very important. Now, some silly people say 
It doesn't really matter if the Queen's been chucked out. Who cares? Well, I do. And a lot of other people do. And why should you care? Well, you should care because when the Queen was removed, a thing called Feely Simple, sometimes I get it back to front. Feely Simple, Simple Feelies. A Feely Simple is the correct way. Now, that give you title to your house, which you could sell, knock down if it's possible, rebuild it, will it onto your family, and so on. But, when the Feely's Queen went, so did the Feely Simple. Now in England, and Australia, and New Zealand, nobody owns the ground on which their property is built. Maybe there are exceptions, but they're very rare. So if they find oil, we all know that, and gold down underneath, they'll dig your house up and claim underneath. In America, they have freeholds. They got total right to what's under their land, and they own the land. In Ireland, who had had a war to gain independence, has the same. They have freeholds. They, they, they don't have a feeling simple. But now, these organizations called councils, which are nothing more than a department of the, edu of the state government, just like the education department, they like to call themselves local government, but they're not local government at all. They're just a department of the state. They now claim ownership to your property. Now, on my YouTube channel, you'll see right down the bottom, there's an, an old chap who was reading the paper. I'm an old chappy, I can say that. He was younger than me, probably. He was reading the paper, and he saw his house up for sale. He was in his 80s. His wife died, and obviously he was stressed and forgot all about running the place. His wife probably paid the bills. He was reading the paper in his garden when he saw his house on the market for sale, and thanks to a good neighbour, helped him get out of it. And you know how he got out of it? They took money out of his pension. Uh, old age pension he was coughing up to pay back those rates which basically are a tax and that's another story we'll get into one day but the council own your property so if you think people there who are sitting smug say we don't care whether there's no constitution or there's no queen well now you should because you don't own your property and furthermore when you pay off your mortgage you don't get any paperwork anymore the lands title office is now owned by the, ma the major shareholders of the banks so, who cares about the Queen being removed? Well, if you're a living, breathing man and woman, you should care. And if you don't, the consequences of your action, you deserve them. What are we doing about it? Well, the Common Law Court, as you know, is running here in Melbourne. We've had one successful and a couple of dry runs, if you like, on Common, on common Law Courts. We need lots more courts. We need you. I need everyone that can actually run one and prepare to stand by the rules by the International Common Law Court. We can't make up our own rules. The rules are already entrenched. Just like a constitution is entrenched. There's nine parts, eight are entrenched. In, like in cement, they can't be moved. And if these unlawful governments want to change any rules and regulations, they must have a referendum. Of course, they never did. Anyway, do subscribe, look, and if you can help us financially, that's great. We need to put a couple of vehicles on the road, but we do need people who are of the same mind, with the same goal in mind, to get justice, a common law court, up and running. Everywhere there's a magistrate's court, there should be a, a common law court. Common law, that's what the police work under. They take an oath. They take an oath on their common law.